To set an inverter, we need to understand the parameters. A parameter is a variable to set the inverter's operation and needs a numerical value for each setting. The parameter is abbreviated to PR and the types and numbers of the parameters vary depending on the inverter model. If the inverter has been used before, it may still have the previous parameter settings. Let us begin by initializing all the parameters. This is called all parameter clear. Please take the following steps. First, press the mode button in the PU operation mode to choose the parameter setting mode. Turn the M dial until the LED monitor displays ALLC, all parameter clear. Press the set button to read the current setting value. Turn the M dial to change the setting value shown on the monitor to 1. Finally, press the set button. After that, the 1 and the ALLC lights will flicker alternately. Now the parameter settings have been initialized. It might be better if you keep this useful function in mind. There are a lot of parameters available for Mitsubishi general purpose inverters. Most of these parameters have preset initial values, which enable the motor to run with minimum settings. Let's take a look at the basic parameters required to run the motor. First of all, let's set the rated motor current value to protect the motor from overheating due to an overcurrent. The rated current value is the specification set to run the motor and is specified on the motor nameplate. To set the value, use parameter number 9, which is for electronic thermal OL relay. Similarly, set the base frequency indicated on the motor nameplate by using parameter 3 base frequency. The initial value is set to 60 Hz. If the value on the nameplate is 50 Hz, change it to 50 Hz accordingly. If not changed, the voltage drops too much and it leads to insufficient torque. Torque is force that rotates the motor. As a result, the inverter may stop functioning due to an overload. There is another parameter important for torque. Imagine you are about to start pedaling a bicycle with heavy luggage on the back. You need a strong force for the bicycle to start and move forward until it is in a stable motion, right? Parameter zero has a function called torque boost. Motor torque in the low frequency range can be adjusted according to the load to increase the starting motor torque. Lastly, we are going to set the motor rotational speed. Limit the motor rotational speed so the frequency will be lower than the upper limit and higher than the lower limit. Use parameter 1 to set the upper limit frequency. Use parameter 2 to set the lower limit frequency. For safety reasons, set the upper limit frequency so that it does not exceed the maximum running frequency of the equipment. We have learned the basic parameter settings of the inverter. For safe operations, please refer to the manuals and configure the settings that meet the operation specifications of the equipment embedded with the motor.